happy Sunday vlog. Hey, it hey. is the Lord's Day, so I hope you are fired up. Um, we just got done watching online church um, this morning. Yes. Yeah, so it's... tired. <laughs> Yeah, we were, we were laying in bed, and I was like, all right, so should we start to get ready? She's like, I, I can't do it. <laughs> She's like, I don't, I don't think I can do it. Can't get up. But yeah. we are <laughs> but lucky we're... that the church we're attending does an online service. Um, we are really, really liking this new church that we're going, we've been going to. It's called Christian Life Center over in Ben Salem. Mm -hmm. um, we'll link down below their YouTube channel in case you um, want to check out their services. Like I said, Sean and I have really been vibing with them. Um, the, oh, we really love their head pastor. Yeah, Pastor Mark, he's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's he's a really cool dude. He's really inspiring. He's Southern, so he's, he's got that like Southern charm to him. So, well, like, I... it's also too like he, we've been talking like everything that he says each Sunday has really been feeling like it's been like hitting like hitting home yeah it's been it's been very i feel like it's it's just god speaking to us like, through him really like because every single time like i'm like that's exactly what we're going through right now like mm -hmm. it's it's one of those things that even if you don't think that you're that you're struggling or anything like that just if you can pray for someone um take in if there's a if Maybe you're at a service and maybe you're not feeling that certain thing. Maybe just dive deep into yourself. Take a moment to pause, which what he was talking about a lot today was just taking a moment to pause and just kind of reflect um, on what one what you're thankful for and just know that God is here with you and He's here to guide you and He already has a solution to your problems and that's that's what uh, uh, Pastor Mark was talking about and that really uh, hit home for me as well. Well, also. You just said the word thankful, and that every time after church, um, whether we're in person or online, we always kind of like discuss and talk about like the certain points that um, really like stood out to us or stuck with us. Partially because when you go to church, I mean, I'm a firm believer in like no matter where you're going, you should go in with open ears, open eyes, mm -hmm. just because. How do I say this? Like. You're you're listening to somebody. The Holy Spirit is working through that person preaching, um, but sometimes we're all human. We sometimes we don't get it completely right. So yeah. any to, anywhere you go, you have to go in with open ears and open eyes. However, I do feel like when you go to church, there's always at least one thing that sticks with you. Mm -hmm. um, so if you can go, if you if you can go to church, and if you're or if maybe you're reading something. Um, just try to pick one thing, try to find one thing that really is going to stick with you and it's really going to have an impact and take that into your week and try to take that into your practice each day. Yeah. And you I know? think how, why I brought that up is like the one, one of the things, several things stuck with me, but one of the things that stuck with me was he, he was just, um, emphasizing on praying with Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that to me, I feel like recently I've been praying from almost like a selfish place. I've been asking, 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 and I've just been like, I, I pray every single day, every single night I pray. Mm -hmm. But I, I have noticed recently that I've been praying from a place of like, I want this, I want this, I want this. And I haven't started my prayer with, thank you, Jesus, for another day. Yeah. Thank you for my husband and my life and that we have a roof over our head and that we have food you know like yeah we might not we might be stressed in certain day-to-day -day struggles but even still we are in a place i mean we should all be thanking jesus but we are in a place where we should just be thanking him for another day yeah you know um so i think that's what kind of stuck with me today was I need to remember to pray with Thanksgiving and not just ask for things, you know? Exactly. Um, anyway, that's <laughs> well fired up over here on yeah. a Sunday <laughs> talking to you guys about Jesus. Um, but anyway, from for today's vlog, it's going to be a little bit of a shorter vlog. Uh, our past few vlogs have been on the longer side and we like to keep it 
short, long, short, you know, go back and forth. So this one's a little bit shorter. Um, also, I have not really ever done like a product review really, but I did just order um, three items from the Five Label. I believe that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. um, five Label. <laughs> by Lindsay Arnold. If you don't know who she is, she's a Dancing with the Stars pro. Um, and she also has a YouTube channel as well with her sisters called the Arnold Sisters, which I, so I follow them, um, but they, she has, with the five, has create, like done a collaboration or whatever for active wear, dance wear. So I wanted, from a dancer, dance teacher perspective, <laughs> I wanted to product review um, some of these, some of these clothes. Because I feel like growing up, I always stuck with like um, Adidas or Nike. Like that was kind of my go-to. Also, I was like the queen of matching sets before they were like <laughs> cool. <laughs> like people would be like, she always matches. Yes, I did. Thanks, mom. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Adidas, Nike, and I still wear those. Um, but then, as I, especially in college and like now, I am like true to Lululemon. Um, there's other athletic wear like um, Fabletics and um, Athleta. Athleta? Oh, how do you say it? Uh, ath Athleta. I think it's Athleta. I don't know. But like there's other brands that I actually have not tried, but I've heard really great things about them. So I just wanted to throw on these three items that I got. I got three just because they're on the pricier side and by pricey i mean like not as much as lululemon i would say like in like the 50 dollar range um yeah so just have to put that out there also too just being fully transparent just like if you are wondering about sizes i have not tried these on so you will see what they look like on me but i ordered all three items in a size small I typically wear a size four, so just for reference, um, that's the size. I just went by the size chart online. Um, yeah, so let's put these on. You can put them on. <laughs> no, you can stretch them out. Oh, because of my chunky belly? No, because of your <laughs> muscles. Word. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, let's, she's gonna do this product review. Here I go. Wish me <laughs> luck. <laughs> All right, these are the first two items. We'll start with the top. Um, also, I will link the names of each of these down below as well, so you can like find them easily on the website. But this top, it feel I feel like it's really flattering the way that it like the way that the lines go. Actually, my wedding dress had like the lines and everything, so kind of nice nod to that. So this is kind of the top from behind. Here we go. I feel really um, supported. It's, I feel like the size is true to what the size chart says. The only thing I will say about this was I had a little bit trouble with this top on the website. The people emailing me back and forth said that like something glitched. And so, cause I originally ordered it in black, then like the black was out of stock. So then I had it in a different color. That color was out of stock. I ended up with this color but I will say I do like this color, so it's like a light, light pink. But yeah, this is the top. I feel really good in it. Here we go. And then these pants, these pants, I feel super, super sucked in, which is nice. All up in here and in here, which are the two areas that like, I feel like people want to feel tight and sucked in. So I do feel that with this. Also too, I think the length, I am like an entire leg. That's just my body. <laughs> my torso is super short, but my legs are really long. I feel like the length is good. Um, also, if you can tell, like they open up here. This style is super in right now um, with like kind of the flared, oh, pretty much like a yoga pant is like coming back. So I would feel really good about like auditioning in this or teaching in it. So yeah, here's the back, the side, and the front. The only other item that I bought was this cropped sweatshirt, which I am pretty much obsessed with. 
Um, this is like, you can, I would rehearse in this, teach in this all day long. The inside is actually really soft. I feel like it's cute because you still see like the little bit of cropped going on with the high waist. Arm length, I struggle with arm length because I got really long arms and it's all good. I just like, I love it. What do you think, Shallon? Looks great. Looking, <laughs> styling. Yeah, no, I, I think that I would purchase this in like every color. So can I purchase that as well? A little cropped action. Yeah, I want to show some, you know, some happy trail. Yeah. <laughs> nice <laughs> i will say too just like the fabric and quality just feels so good like i would definitely recommend all of these um items and also too i'm like a firm believer in quality over quantity if you get a bunch of different athletic clothing and then you're moving around and doing all these tricks especially with like dancing and stuff it, it's not gonna last you. You wanna feel good and you wanna feel confident at all times. So I am a big, big, big believer in good quality active wear. So I love it. I'm giving it 10 out of 10 or five out of five since it's the five. Nice. <laughs> well, thanks for watching this vlog, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Come on this journey with us. We love you and we got some more good videos coming your way. See ya. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Well, you did get an email that masks are now optional. I guess so. <laughs> Goodbye, mask. <laughs>